Many fishing boats competed to save the young woman. After he paid the amount to live, he asked the young woman why did you drown yourself in the river? The young woman replied that my husband went out to work for others and raised a pig at home. I wanted to repay the rent. I sold the pig yesterday, but I didn't expect to get fake money. I was afraid that my husband would blame me again. She felt so poor that she no longer wanted to live. After hearing this, Wong Shan sympathized with her and asked her how much the pig was worth, and doubled her aid. When the young woman returned home, she met her husband halfway and was crying. While telling her husband what happened, her husband felt suspicious. After the sun went down, the couple went to the place where Wong Shan lived to confront Wong Shan. Wong! Shan had closed the door and went to bed. The husband asked his wife to knock on the door. Wong Shan asked, Who are you? The young woman replied, I am a woman who drowned. Wong Shan said very seriously that, You are a young woman and I am a solitary guest. It is not suitable to meet each other at night. Go back quickly. If you intend to invite your husband to come with you tomorrow. Her husband's doubts were eliminated on the spot. He said with fear. That we are here together as husband and wife. Wang Shan be wearing clothes and walking out of the house. Wang Shan suddenly heard a bang from the house. Wang Shan looked back in surprise. The earthen wall behind the bed collapsed due to the long rain, and the bed was crushed. Otherwise, Wang Shan would have been the first to bear the brunt. The couple praised and thanked Wang Shan, and then left. Wang Shan returned. When I returned to my hometown, I met the fortune teller again. The fortune teller was very surprised and said that you must have done a lot of good deeds because of the wrinkles on your face. Not only have you avoided disasters, but you have also received unlimited blessings. Later, Wang Shan actually gave birth to eleven children in a row. His two sons ascended to the throne, and he lived to be ninety-eight before he died. The Supreme Being said that there is no way. For misfortunes and blessings, only people bring it upon themselves. Good and evil retributions. Follow them like a shadow. No matter whether a person has done bad things or good deeds, there will be corresponding patterns on his face. If you have done a little bad thing or a little good deed, it cannot be clearly shown on your face at once. But if you have done a big bad thing or a big good deed, a lot of bad things or a lot of good things, your face will. Show the bad or good deeds. The pattern mainly expresses Yi Yin Tang, Yin Tang, and the life of the master of the palace. If a person has done something bad, or his ancestors were immoral, or he was immoral in his previous life, there will be a hanging needle pattern. This hanging needle pattern will harm his parents and his wife and children. I have a friend who has this kind of hanging needle pattern. It really affects his parents at the top and his wife and children at the bottom. This karma is not necessarily a karma for death. It brings a lot of trouble and misfortune to his parents, wife and children. Later, I taught him to release animals and do good deeds. After about three years, he improved. I found that his hanging needle pattern had turned. His hanging needle pattern was originally vertical, but later it became curved and turned to one side. This is called the hanging needle. Turning bad luck into good luck. He used to be always unlucky, and his parents, wife, and children were always together. It's because he got sick. He didn't make enough money to treat his family. His life was unsatisfactory in every possible way. But now his life is slowly going smoothly, and his life has begun to change from unlucky to satisfactory. Now, it is called the Palace of Children and Interests. The Inda Palace. 
is the place that mainly reflects a person's virtues. They are all flat and plump with yellow light, which means they have the virtue and immortal bones. Having eye bags or dark circles or sunken eye bags since childhood is due to congenital deficiency of energy and spirit, congenital kidney deficiency. So according to the physiognomy, it is difficult for such a person to have a child with a weak breath. Therefore, this kind of practice requires diligent meditation, pure mind, and few desires, and extensive accumulation of yin virtue. Chinese medicine practitioners all know that the dark sunken eyes are serious kidney deficiency. The kidneys govern the essence and vital energy. There is a serious loss of essence. How can one prove that the fullness of essence and energy comes from a pure mind and few desires? So a Taoist person? The current color is as smooth and full as a faintly lying silkworm. Because the color of good luck at the moment is the color of yellow and bright, like the color of a silkworm. It is called the faintly lying silkworm. People who have accumulated in virtues and done many good deeds will have one, two or three layers as thin as silk. The fine lines are thin, shiny and beautiful, which are called Inda lines. If a person does good deeds, accumulates blessings and benefits all living beings, these lines will appear at the moment. If you often do good deeds and now have Inda lines, congratulations, this will increase your blessings and extend your life. Signs of Sun Gui If you often do bad things and have bad intentions, your eyes will become dark and saggy, or they will be normal. What is really serious is that vertical lines will appear under your eyes, like needles pricking your eyes. This is a sign of harming your children and punishing your grandchildren. 3. A bright neck will make you immortal and youthful. The throat chakra that resides on the neck should be opened. If a person's throat chakra is opened, no matter he is 100 or 200 years old, his neck will have four nasolabial lines that do not look old. Nasal folds are also patterns that express a person's virtue. These lines are generally middle-aged. Later, the name of the entrance to the law appeared, the starving sign, also known as the entrance to the soaring snake. Although the entrance to the law does not necessarily starve to death, at least it will be lonely when you grow old. This pattern changes with people's mentality and behavior. If you do evil, you can change the entrance to the entrance to the soaring snake. This kind of decree extending from the mouth to the chin is called a longevity belt. If your elders have this kind of decree line, it doesn't matter. Reflect and repent, and often do good. Deeds The decree will naturally extend the length of the mouth. If there was only one decree line at first, and then you do good deeds and change it, the original decree will appear. Like a branch, another one grows out of it called double dragons leaving the sea, which is a sign of longevity and wealth. It is a sign of good deeds and good fortune. If a person does good deeds throughout his life and never regrets or doubts, he will have three or five extra long eyebrows at the end of his eyebrows in his old age. The name Colorful Eyebrows is a sign of high moral character and longevity. Hair in the ears is a good sign of longevity. It is also a good sign for middle-aged and elderly people to have their hair fall out from the sun and moon corners on their foreheads backwards. Losing hair from the inside out is a bad sign. Lack of virtue is equivalent to stopping evil deeds and turning bad luck into good fortune. Of course, there are many places where you can know that you have changed your destiny by doing good or evil. However, the space is limited. I will briefly mention them in the hope that everyone can understand their destiny. The good and evil deeds you do are caused by the law of heaven. You can do all good deeds diligently and 
benefit all sentient beings. Good and evil will be rewarded in the end. Never be busy. Karma will not only affect a person's fortune, but our appearance will also be affected by it. Influence Why is it said that people with kind eyebrows, kind eyes, and compassionate eyes will show good looks? This is the truth that looks come from the heart. Therefore, a person's appearance also reflects a person's blessings to a certain extent. As told in the Ten Good Karma Sutra we are, all living beings of all shapes and sizes, big or small, all the unwholesome deeds of the body, speech and mind are caused by the various thoughts in the mind. Therefore, the beauty and ugliness of all sentient beings are manifested by the thoughts in the mind. And the three karma of the body, speech and mind, the good and evil are always beautiful and ugly in a single thought. In a moment of thought, the old saying goes that people's hearts are different, each has its own face. It is true that hearts are different. Views and ideas on all things are different. So appearance is different. What you want in your heart will make progress, and you will act. Thus planting a cause and opportunity. When the cause and conditions are ripe, the results will come. This is the cause and effect. Therefore, the appearance is the blessing. The cause and effect is hidden in it, and it is also a manifestation of the good and evil in a person's life. It is said that the appearance changes with the heart. Nowadays, among the people, there are fortune tellers, some of which are more effective. In fact, this is the truth about the good and bad fortune of a person's life. Fortune and misfortune are also shown on the face, so it cannot be hidden from a truly virtuous person. You will know what is going on in his heart just by looking at a person's face. He can definitely know the good or bad fortune of this person. It is said that sincerity is in the heart and is reflected in the heart. The same thing on the outside and the inconsistency on the outside are things that even those with great wisdom can't hide from us ordinary people. The F.A. teachings say that people should practice from the place where their heart is moved in their thoughts. In the midst of all kinds of thoughts, the F.A. family said that the appearance of all sentient beings is the body of karma. If a person has many evil thoughts, he will be greedy, angry, stupid, and arrogant. His Appearance will not be good-looking. If he has kind thoughts all the time, his appearance will be very dignified. It looks very close and kind, and kind thoughts will also inspire good fortune. As the saying goes, One thought of kindness brings about all kinds of blessings, one thought of disgust creates. Millions of obstacles, opens doors, and appearance is manifested by the heart. In this world, everyone has his or her own kind of heart. You can find it all over the world. There is no second person who is the same as me. Even if the appearance is somewhat similar, it will never be exactly the same because the hearts are different. For example, if a person is reincarnated and comes to this world, a child looks like his parents. This is the appearance of the reincarnation. Why do they look like each other? When I came to be reincarnated, I liked my parents more. I liked my dad more like my dad. I liked my mom more like my mom. This is also the reason why most girls look like their dad and most boys look like their mom. As we grow up, our six senses come into contact with the realm of the six external objects. What do you think will change your appearance? and this appearance will change accordingly. As the saying goes, people's hearts are different, and each has its own face. When you become an adult, you will have good and evil in your heart, right and wrong, and your appearance will change with your heart. There is a saying about women's 18 changes. A person's natural appearance when he or she is about 20 years old, but a person's appearance after the age of 35. Depends on one's own heart. 
In the past, if one practiced compassion every day, his appearance would become better and better. If he has bad thoughts and evil thoughts every day, his appearance will become more and more ugly. If he has a good heart, his appearance will be good. If you have a good destiny, I hope everyone can sow the seeds of kindness and reap the fruits of blessings. Destined people, thank you for seeing this, and don't leave in a hurry. If you are interested in doing good deeds and accumulating virtue to change your destiny, I strongly recommend you read the following content. The ancients all talked about accumulating in virtues. The Book of Changes says that a house that accumulates good deeds must have you chain. Yu Qing here refers not only to oneself, but also to future generations. In other words, are we living well now? Our innate endowments, resources, conditions, and the virtues of our ancestors. There is an inevitable connection between the accumulation of accumulated virtue. One is young virtue and the other is in virtue. Young virtue is for oneself and in virtue is for descendants. Therefore, Sima Guang's family motto says that accumulating in virtue is related to the long-term plan for descendants. So what is young virtue? Virtue means doing good deeds openly and openly. Everyone knows that you are doing good deeds before doing it and then advertising it. This is called Yangda. Yangda is famous in the world. Yangda can bring you honor, fame and fortune, but if your own virtue is not worthy of it, this so-called virtue is not worthy of its name. If this kind of young virtue actually has many misfortunes, in virtue is like tinnitus. If you do good deeds, only you know it. And don't show it. Even your children and family members don't know. Doing good deeds secretly is called a family. Lao. Tsu calls it the superior virtue of doing nothing and not thinking about it. Those who have in virtue will have young retribution. Those who practice in will have clear in. Virtue. The result of in virtue will not be on yourself, but on the descendants of future generations. So if you want to prosper the family of future generations, then do more good deeds that others cannot see. The descendants of those who are rich and noble must have in virtues in their ancestors. Seeing this, do you really want to know how to accumulate in virtues and get the protection of the gods? Next, I will share with you the 10 things that Taoism believes are the most accumulating in virtues. The first thing is to abstain from killing. Taoism pays attention to the practice of this life. It requires every practitioner to have a heart of love and compassion. Taoists use various ways of practice to achieve the goal of longevity. Everything in the world has spirituality, not only killing. It goes against the natural morals and also damages the good fortune. During the Emperor Gaozong of the Tang Dynasty, there was a minister named Lu Shirda. He was very favored by Emperor Gaozong and made great contributions to the court. One morning, Lu Shirda, who was sleeping, suddenly saw Santai Xingjuan come to the mansion and tell him that you once killed two people by mistake. You committed the crime of killing and will lose twenty years of your life as punishment. Now the starlight above your head will soon be extinguished. Lu Shirda's entire life will be wiped out. He felt in a daze for days. He told his servants that I had acted cautiously in my life, but accidentally killed two people. The star official wanted to deduct twenty years from my lifespan. Not long after, Lu Shirda passed away because of this. There is an old saying among the people, be filial to your parents. Being good and filial comes first. Being filial to your parents is considered to be the greatest good in the world. The culture of filial piety is the essence of 5,000 years of Chinese culture. Taoism believes that accumulating virtue and doing good deeds is an important way for mortals to become immortals. And filial piety is the foundation of doing good. 
If you want to learn the immortal way, you must practice it first. The path of filial piety in human nature has not yet reached. The path of immortality. There is no Taoist in the world who is not filial to his parents. And there are no gods in heaven who do not respect and love the elderly. Being filial to your parents is naturally an act of accumulating in virtues. Lao Jun said, Three lies, Lao Jun said. If you don't hear or see, it's not what? You mean and tell others, it is all lies. If you don't tell others, you are lying. Lying will not only hinder your spiritual practice, but also have a considerable impact on your daily life. The ancients said that guarding your mouth is better than guarding your river. This shows the power of lying. Therefore, abstaining from lying is also a kind of the four. Ways to accumulate in virtues are theft. In a materialistic society, many people are gradually lost in the belief in money. Sometimes they even commit acts that violate the law, such as stealing. As the saying goes, a gentleman loves money and gets it in the right way. Although Taoism also has a belief in the god of wealth, but that it is just a way of belief in Taoism that hopes people can create wealth through hard work, which is also a hope for a better life. Taoism opposes ill-gotten gains obtained through abnormal means. So theft is also an act that damages blessings. The great Song Dynasty in addition to poetry. The literary giant Su Dongpa was also very fond of jade. He once collected a piece of human jade. When an official named Zhang Qi heard about this, he ran to Su Dongpa's home and secretly replaced a beautiful jade with a jade stone. When he didn't have any spare, Su Dongpa didn't notice for a while. When he went to Huangzhou, he discovered that the beautiful jade had been stolen. The generous Su Dongpa did not pursue the matter, but Zhang Qi was demoted and exiled to Taizhou soon because of official affairs. This kind of obstacle to spiritual practice is stated in the opening chapter of the Taoist classic The Sutra of Guanqing Di Jun Jing Yin, which states that sexual intercourse is the first of all evils. Filial piety is the foundation of all kinds of evils. At the beginning of the establishment of the religion, Patriarch, Chong Yang stipulated that mortals must follow these twelve principles before practicing Taoism. Chu Anjin Religion believes that the seven worldly emotions and five desires are obstacles on the road to spiritual practice. Only by getting rid of them can the Tao be realized. The Ten Precepts of the First Truth also stipulates that in the Fourth Precept, those who are not allowed to engage in sexual immorality will corrupt the spirit of true uncleanness and slowness. Keeping chastity will not cause any offense. The Taoist Exhortation to Good Deeds, Taishang Inspiration Chapter, says that seeing someone else's beautiful appearance arouses selfishness. Did you know that a person's appearance must hide cause and effect? It records what you have experienced, the books you have read, the people you have loved, and the path you have traveled. So the first secret hidden by appearance is your mentality. You can start when you are 10 years old. Take out the photos and compare them. The changes will be very big. This change is a psychological reflection engraved on your face. Some people become cunning, some people become noble-looking, some become fierce-looking, and some become blessed. There is a saying it is said that those who have deep love must be harmonious, and those who are harmonious must have pleasant appearance and pleasant appearance, so their faces will be different. The second one is experience. Appearance hides experience. Personality is written in the corner of the mouth. Happiness is hidden in the corner of your eyes. What kind of experiences you have had over the years will be revealed through your words and deeds. Those who have rich experience have a strong aura in every gesture. People who do nothing are complaining in every word and deed. The third one is hiding self-discipline. 
People who exercise regularly have a ruddy complexion. Those who live a messy and disorderly life are full of energy and have dull eyes and haggard faces. Therefore, the more self-disciplined you are, the closer you are to happiness. Remember, experience is hidden in appearance, hard work is hidden in strength, and kindness is hidden in blessings. There is no such thing as starting from scratch in this world. You have to remember that all the wealth, reputation, status, and happy marriage you have gained today are all related to the virtues accumulated by your ancestors. Many people will say that I am smart, I struggle, I work hard, and I can achieve more in this world than you. There are more smart people than you, and there are more people who work harder than you. Why do they have a worse life than you? It is said in the Book of Changes that a house that accumulates good deeds must have you ching. Many people understand it wrong. It does not mean that you will be rewarded. If you do good deeds in your life, it means that you have done good things in your life. And your next generation, and even your next generation's next generation, will be rewarded well. This is called Yi Ching, so don't take yourself too seriously. Every extra penny of wealth you gain today, all wisdom, is related to your ancestors. Some people don't even know where their ancestors are and what their names are. You need to know where your roots are. Only when your roots are deep can you flourish. Now let's discuss this topic. If you want to become a person with profound merit, I suggest you watch the following video patiently. It will affect your future life. So please put down what you are doing and listen carefully. It is the external expression of the inner world. Through the characteristics of the appearance, one can infer the person's character, wealth, etc. This is what people often call face. In the ancient traditional physiognomy, one can know whether a person is blessed like heaven through his face. Plump, square, round earlobes, thick big. Eyebrows, clear eyes, etc. are used to describe those who are blessed. While monkeys with sharp mouths, cheeks and eyebrows shorter than their eyes, sunken halls, etc. are used to describe those who are not blessed. Everyone's face is just a feng shui chart, and they have done good and evil. Everything will be reflected in the lines and complexion on the face. For example, the wrinkles on the face are the traces left on the face after accumulating negative virtues. If you have done something immoral, there should be traces on the body. Today I will talk about the common saying about the wrinkles on the face. The wrinkles on the face. What does the Inji pattern mean? When blessings enter the home? Why is there such a saying? First, let's first understand what Inji is. In refers to the secret process. Jia is the meaning of arrangement. Yin Jiwen is also called Yindawan, and is also called the Hall of Tears, Dragon Hall, and Phoenix. The original meaning of Bao Yin Zhao is to secretly bring stability. Shang Shu Hongfan has Yun Wai Shen Yin Zhao Xiaoming, which means that there is a certain number in the dark, and there is God's protection in the dark. In the ancient facial culture, if a person's moral character is thick, it is the most intuitive expression. There are Yin Zhao lines on the face. After you have accumulated virtues and done good deeds at a certain age, some lines will appear in the areas under the eyes. These lines may also appear on the corners of the eyebrows and other parts of the body. These lines are Yin Zhao lines. If they appear on the eyebrows, it means thanks to the shadow of our ancestors. Our ancestors have accumulated good deeds and done good deeds. As the saying goes, a house that accumulates good deeds will always be blessed. People who accumulate good deeds and do good deeds will naturally be blessed. At the same time, future generations will also be protected by their ancestors. 
only when a person has done a lot of good deeds. Will the existing EG lines appear? All misfortunes turn into good fortune and disasters. Turn into auspiciousness. God takes care of these evil virtues, which cannot be calculated even with magic. Because fate has changed and has not developed in the bad direction originally planned. It has been moving towards the good side. If you always do good deeds. Now the evil virtues appear. Congratulations on your tattoo. This is a sign that your children will be blessed and have longevity. If you often do bad things and have bad intentions, your eyes will turn black and sunken or just normal. What is really serious is the appearance of hard lines under your eyes, like needles pricking your eyes. This is a karma. In the early years of Emperor Wuzong S. Jingda reign, in the Ming Dynasty, there was a businessman named Wang Shan in Anhui. He was 40 years old and had no children. There was a fortune teller who was proficient in feng shui and was very accurate in predicting good and bad luck. When he saw Wang Shan, he said sadly, You don't have any yet. His son Wang Shan replied, Yes. And the fortune teller said that not only would you have no children, but you would also suffer a great disaster in October. Wang Shan believed the fortune teller's words and hurried to Suzhou to pack his belongings and go home. It was the plum rainy season, and the river was so high that he had no choice but to take a boat, staying in a hotel temporarily. When the rain stopped at night, he went for a walk by the riverside and saw a young woman drowning herself. He hurriedly called the fisherman and said that I would give him twenty tails of gold if he rescued the young woman. When we have that kind of evil thought in our hearts, we should give up and not let it disturb our minds. 6. Insects and trees should not be hurt. Taoism advocates the immortal way and noble life. It believes that everything in the world has spirituality. The Tao gives birth to one life, two births, two births, three births, and three births. Even animals, fruits, trees, and stones all have moral nature, and all things in the universe are equal to humans. Therefore, when dealing with the weak lives in nature, we should maintain a compassionate heart and not harm them. The first choice among the ants to save them was to bury the snake and enjoy the glory of the Prime Minister. During the Song Dynasty, there are two brothers, Song Jiao and Song Qi. Both of them have shown their talent for reading since childhood. Song Jiao and Song Qi were studying in Taishua at the same time. One day, they passed by a wandering Taoist priest with immortal demeanor. He gave them to their brothers. After the two met, they said that you are both Wenkuxing. You will surely be on the gold list in the next year's exams, and your younger brother Song Chi will win the top. 7. Saving people in crisis is a very important way to practice Taoism, and it is also a way to promote traditional Chinese virtues. As a manifestation of the Taoist master Gohongs by Opuzi, he has a teaching about spiritual practice. Those who want to live forever must want to accumulate good deeds and make meritorious deeds, be kind to things, forgive themselves and benevolent to others, catch insects, and be happy with others. Help people who are suffering, use poor hands, do not hurt people, do not warn others of harm. See others' gains as oneself, see others' losses as one's own losses, this is a virtuous thing. Blessed by heaven, will achieve success, seek immortality, hope, and cultivate Taoism. If a person wants to achieve the goal of longevity, he must first accumulate negative virtues. And saving people from danger is one of them. When we see someone in danger, such as falling into water or fire, we come to the rescue. This is an act of accumulating negative virtues. 
In troubled times, Taoist priests go down the mountain. In the prosperous times of salvation, Taoist priests return to the mountains to live in seclusion. Taoism not only pays attention to spiritual practice, but also advocates joining the world to save people. When the country or the world is in danger, the Taoist priests resolutely choose to go down the mountain to save the country and the people, and they actively devote themselves to the action of saving the nation. This is also part of the thought of the immortal way, Guisheng, and immeasurable measures of human beings. This embodiment of the eight refinements of mind includes two aspects, cultivating the mind and refining the nature. Some people say that cultivation is to cultivate the mind. The mind is used for thinking. The thoughts that come from the heart are invisible and intangible. There are good and evil. To remove the evil thoughts and only leave the good thoughts is to cultivate the mind. Among the 168 kinds of evil listed in induction chapter, there are eight kinds of evil thoughts. Seeing him be honored and noble, wishing him to be exiled. Seeing him being rich, wishing him to be ruined. Seeing him fail, he will be cursed and hateful. Seeing his beauty, selfishness and losing his property, wishing him to die. Not being thankful for receiving favors and being resentful and waiting for such evil thoughts may be invisible to others but they are the most harmful to spiritual practice. They should be uprooted and eradicate. Evil Thoughts The fundamental meaning of doing good is to get rid of evil thoughts and do good. Thoughts of good deeds should not be deceived. Be kind to things, be compassionate to others, be kind to others. Be kind to others, and be kind to others. Seeing others' gains as one's own gains. Seeing others' losses as one's own losses, giving kindness without asking for repayment, and not regretting others. Only with such a heart can one be called a good person. Taishang Inspiration Chapter finally says that the husband's heart originates from kindness. Even if it is not done, the auspicious spirit has already followed, while the mind has been motivated by evil, and the evil spirit has followed. Our purpose of practicing Taishan Inspiration Chapter is to grasp from the heart's thoughts that there are no evil thoughts naturally, no evil words, evil deeds, and good thoughts naturally arise. To have good words and good deeds, to transform oneself into others, you must first correct your own behavior and lead by example so that you can persuade others to have good intentions and do good deeds. Taoism has many clear rules and precepts for practitioners, requiring them to observe the precepts, practice, abandon evil, do good, and cultivate the three jewels. Before you can save others, first of all, you must correct your own conduct. If you have problems with your own conduct, how can you correct others? The success of destroying others, endangering others' safety, reducing others' self-benefit, using evil to make good, private, depriving public, stealing others' ability, concealing others' good deeds and other good deeds, must be abandoned so that you can help others. Do three good deeds in ten days. Taishan Inspiration Chapter says that if you have three good deeds in one day, good, fortune will come to you in three years. Disaster if you do three good deeds in one day. Without reluctance, you will surely receive blessings from heaven within three years. Three good deeds are words, good deeds, good deeds, good deeds, and accumulation of negative virtues. They are not those vigorous things. In life, a kind look or a heartwarming word. Picking up rubbish casually, these are all behaviors that accumulate negative virtues. Thank you for watching the end. If today's video is helpful to you, please like it and give me a reply. I am devoted to good deeds and may God bless you with good health.
If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button on the right to establish a deeper connection with us. Become a member by chance and practice blessings with people on the same channel. Repost with joy and spread the knowledge of good deeds. The merits are immeasurable.